flying through space. It's actually uh, in, in deep space still. In fact, not until after we hit the entry point will we actually begin to feel the force of the atmosphere gradually building on that heat shield. So really, it's still a spacecraft. It hasn't actually become an aircraft. But we've checked out its, its, its rockets. It's actually used to turn the vehicle. It's turned to the right attitude. And that means it's ready to go. And as soon as we start feeling the, at the atmosphere, it'll start doing its role to get to the, to the turn as part, as part of the, the guidance that it does. It starts off with the right bank and eventually will make a left bank and then, uh, and then make another right bank as it makes its way to, uh, uh, to, the, to the landing site. So it's a capsule right now It's a capsule. In. It's a, just a bare capsule. Um, nothing looking out, just the radios is the only thing that's sticking out, and, uh, uh, and that's what we're getting. We're getting tones from that vehicle right this second. Okay. Now, we don't get, we're not getting Odyssey data yet. That doesn't happen until a little while later. After parachute? Actually, after, be, be, during, just after entry, about okay. the time before parachute, just before parachute opens up. Okay. EDL phase dynamics. Did that work out? Go ahead, dynamics. Uh, just FYI, uh, OD227 uh, runout looks like a uh, missed distance of 232 meters. Over. 232 meters? That's correct. Less than the divert. Roger. We can expect a brief signal dropout when we switch to the TLJ. <clears throat> We're at three minutes entry. At this time, uh, MRO should begin picking us up. Uh, but remember, we won't get that data for a while. It's got to store it and then uh, send it back down here for us to decode. Uh, we're still seeing heartbeat tones. Everything looks good. The spacecraft should be up to 5.6 kilometers per second. is reporting that the latest runouts, which is uh, using the latest nav, our best guess of where we are, uh, show us that the uh, best guess of our landing target location is about 232 meters uh, from the uh, landing target. Um, so looking good so far. We're continuing to receive heartbeat tones. Everything looks good. We're about 90 seconds from entry. Flight to the MX EDL phase. Go ahead, phase. That last solution was with 227 or OD228? Uh, that is OD227. Thank you. You guys have now OD228 in your possession? Uh, there will be no 228 for us, phase. That's just fine because the difference is One minute entry. within spitting distance. Uh, affirmative. The vehicle will switch antenna shortly. We'll have a short dropout uh, when that occurs in the tones. Uh, it's switching to a tilted antenna that will be used through entry. Hey, 30 seconds. Seconds. Come up on entry. Uh, we'll expect a two or three second outage in the X band signal as we switch from the PLGA to the TLGA. We're switching to the TLGA, signal's dropped, and it's. We just saw the signal drop, that in case we change antennas. We're, We're seeing heartbeat tones again down. after the switch. Things are looking good. Uh, we got tones back again. Coming up on entry. Vehicle reports entry interface. At this time, it'll 
begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back to heartbeat tones. We are standing by for guided start and start of guided entry. <laughs> Nav can see the entry in the atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle has just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is beginning to steer its way to the target. That is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight, GDSA. GDSA, flight, go. We are processing data from Odyssey. Bank reversal 2 is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. Bank right. reversal 2 complete. <laughs> Copy, bank reversal 2 complete. Thanks. Uh, Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there increases go. to Thank respectable levels. There we go. We are now seeing and we have ICDP. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. The adventure heading alignment. There we go. Data. At this time, curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the error, and we should be heading toward the target. Copy. Fly EDL, uh, TDS warning is okay. Copy. Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the MEBBI instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> Vehicles reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignment. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continuing to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. The predicted minimum downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL ops, Odyssey systems on EDL ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. Yes. <laughs> Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Wrist mode under our parachute. Our tachometer is decelerating and, and descending. We are at 150 per meters per second. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, wrist mode dynamics. Wrist mode is nominal. We are at 9 kilometers and descending. Valid range. 
Nest shelter converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. Now to of 8 kilometers. Speech has separated where we found the, we've found the ground. Band tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're standing by to prime the MLE engines in preparation for powered flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers and descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweedo warnings. It is we in battle short is mode, so I should power through them. Director of Earth Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers and descending. We have lost act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters. Vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. We are priming tower logic start enabled. Standing by for back shell separation. Signal to Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. Yes. We're at an altitude of one kilometer descending, about 70 meters per second. Signal to us, you remain down to 50 meters per second, 500 meters in altitude. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity, accordion, nominal. Altitude error, 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. <laughs> Sky crane has started. <laughs> Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. Oh Tingle to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Edelcom configure. Rib is stable. UHF is stable. UHF is good. Yes. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on live. Time to see where our curiosity will take us. Thumbnails are complete. We got thumbnails. Full image complete. 